Yes, we really do need to talk about Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> but first, you will have read this week that ACMA, the Australian Communications and Media Authority, has rejected the vast majority of complaints made by the former Prime Minister against Sky News Australia, and in particular, against me. The former Prime Minister used a taxpayer-funded advisor to submit 80 eight zero complaints about 10 episodes of Sky News Australia's Outsiders program, this show, which were broadcast between October and December 2021, concentrating almost exclusively on my climate skeptic segment on this show called Ice Age Watch, which coincidentally also happens to be one of the most popular segments of Outsiders, which coincidentally also happens to be the number one rating show on this network. My friend and colleague Andrew Bolt did an excellent segment on his show on Wednesday explaining the specifics of the complaints and I thank him for that. If you missed it, go to the Sky News website and check it out, it's great. But the essence of the story is this. Kevin Rudd's acolytes put in 80 complaints about my show, 80. Some 287 odd pages of legal documents this high that Sky's lawyers and I then had to respond to in legally binding detail. For in the Orwellian nature of these things, if you don't respond to the complaint, then you are automatically guilty of it. I thank Sky for providing the legal team and I thank them for all their hard work. It's worth pointing out that not a single other complaint from a single <laughs> oh, other individual about a single one of these 80 so-called infringements, infringements was submitted. Not a single one. Personally, I call that vexatious and obsessive and more importantly, politically motivated. Mm. And personally, I do not believe that that is what the code, the broadcasting code, was established to do or to be used for. I won't bore you with the frivolity and pettiness of so many of the complaints, but in essence, it came down to whether I had presented information or data accurately and whether I had blurred my own personal opinion with presenting fact. Well, 90% of the complaints were not proceeded with. Of the others, ACMA made eight findings, six of which were duplicates related to four pieces of content. One of which relating to the amount of coral on the Great Barrier Reef was, <coughs> according to the ACMA finding, not true at the time I made the comment, although it is true now. Okay, make of that what you will. In one of the other complaints, I maintained that bonking Boris Johnson was under the doona mandating heat pumps. I pointed to the hypocrisy being that not a single member of his cabinet had actually ever installed such heat pumps themselves. My mistake was to use the word mandate. Now, you might also care to ponder the following, although I couldn't possibly comment. The purpose of Mr Rudd's obsessive campaign was to prove, I am assuming, that my scepticism about climate change is based on lies. What does it tell you that in 90% of the issues he raised, ACMA did not consider it necessary to proceed further? First up, let me say, I wholeheartedly accept that there is an important role for a body such as ACMA to ensure that what is broadcast on your television is accurate and truthful. Also, like any good sport, I accept the verdict of the umpire, even if I don't necessarily agree with it. Obviously, I only ever present material that I believe to be truthful and I always attempt to do so accurately. And I always will. In essence, Kevin Rudd used resources generously given to him by you, the taxpayer, to obsessively try and discredit my self-declared and very open 
climate skepticism. It is no secret to anyone with eyes and ears that I do not accept that the science is settled on global warming for the simple reason that the science on anything is never settled. As Einstein, Karl Popper, Galileo, Carl Sagan, and many, many other minds far greater than mine or Kevin Rudd's have recognized for centuries. Even the most widely accepted scientific theory is never beyond being questioned and being challenged. That is the nature of science as opposed to religion, dogma, or ideology. And the theory of anthropogenic global warming is just that, a theory. Indeed, it was Albert Einstein who said, quote, the truth of a theory can never be proven for one never knows if future experience will contradict its conclusions." End quote. And as for the idea of consensus, it was Karl Popper who said that the growth of knowledge depends entirely upon disagreement. <clears throat> and it was Popper who also said that, quote, the only way to test a hypothesis is to look for all the information that disagrees with it." End of quote. So we keep being told that X number of scientists agree with this or that theory about climate change. But it was Galileo Galilei, one of the greatest scientific minds of all time, who overturned centuries of consensus dogmatic thinking, who said, quote, in questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual." End quote. It was Carl Sagan, another great think thinker, who pointed out that, quote, one of the saddest, saddest lessons of history is this. If we've been bamboozled long enough, we tend to reject any evidence of the bamboozled. We're no longer interested in finding out the truth. The bamboozle has captured us. It's simply too painful to acknowledge, even to ourselves, that we've been taken. And Sagan said, once you give a charlatan power over you, you almost never get it back. And Sagan also said, if we can't think for ourselves, if we're unwilling to question authority, then we are just putty in the hands of those in power. Malcolm Turnbull, who has now taken over Kevin Rudd's job of obsessing over the Murdoch media, was quick to seize on ACMA's findings, accusing the Murdoch media and Sky of, quote, systematically spreading lies <coughs> and disinformation, end quote. No, Malcolm, that is not what ACMA said about me or my show, and that statement is an outright lie. And shame on you for stooping so low to make it. <clears throat> but I had to laugh. <laughs> in an article attacking me for making errors in my factual reporting, Crikey <laughs> and their genius journalist, John Butler, wrote this, <laughs> quote, the investigation prompted by more than 80 complaints submitted <laughs> by former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd found four episodes of Sky's late night talk show <laughs> Outsiders <laughs> fell afoul of the code of practice around accuracy. <laughs> late night? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're a Sunday morning show, crikey. Maybe you guys could, you know, try and get your facts right. I think I'll submit a complaint to the press council. 